When a nuclear bomb is detonated, the destruction is undeniable. A single bomb could cost thousands or even millions of casualties. But if you happen to find yourself in a nuclear attack, there are still some measures you could take to increase your chance of survival. During the first few milliseconds, the bomb creates a fireball reaching millions of degrees Celsius, as hot as the interior of the sun, which would completely vaporize anything in it. Following almost instantly are powerful blast waves and a small earthquake. Those inside the area of the fireball have a 0% chance of survival. However, if you are outside the fireball, it's crucial to immediately get to a shelter because the shockwave is coming towards you faster than the speed of sound. The farther away from the detonation site, the more likely you are going to survive. Get inside the nearest building that can offer strong protection, ideal locations, in underground basements or in the middle of large buildings. Blast waves, heat, and radiation are the main killers during a nuke. Stay in the center of a room, farthest away from walls and windows, so you can avoid getting injured by debris produced by the blast. Outdoor areas, trees, and cars will not provide adequate shelter. But if you could not get indoors in time, cover your head as well as your body behind anything that could offer a shield. Even a distance of kilometers can still lead to third degree burns. Keep your face down towards the ground to protect exposed skin from heat, debris, and radiation. Keep in mind that the flashlight of the explosion can cause you to be blind for a few hours, making it more difficult to get to safety. A mushroom cloud will pull thousands of tons of debris and rubble into the sky, darkening the city. After a while, these materials cool down and rain back to the ground, which we call fallout. Fallout is extremely dangerous since it contains highly radioactive dust and ashes. Being outdoor can be greatly toxic to the lungs, as well as the exposed skin. A nuclear detonation could cover a vast area of the city with excessively radioactive contamination for weeks. After the shockwave passes, outsiders have 10 minutes to find indoor shelter before the fallout begins, but you might have more or less time depending. Because the most harmful molecules will fall first, the first hour of fallout is the most dangerous, so you should find a safe place as soon as possible. The level of radiation from fallout would decrease over time. It is advised to stay inside a sealed room for at least 48 hours for the best chance of reducing hazards. The longer the time, the less risk you're going to take. Even when needed to go outside for emergencies, try to look for help after at least an hour. The explosion will create electromagnetic pulses that black out all electronic devices and equipment. Cell phones, computers, and televisions, or the internet, would be disabled for some time. However, radios and battery devices will still be working, so turn on anything available to listen to official information and future instructions. In other words, stay tuned for authorized advice. It would be likely that over the coming hours or even days, rescue teams will not be able to get access to survivors, as all the infrastructures are entirely destroyed, blocking entries to the detonation site. Basic necessities such as food, water, and electricity will not be provided for some weeks. Food and drinks should be covered and consumed inside a shelter, else they be contaminated by the fallout. A nuclear attack can occur without or with very little prior warning, usually only a few minutes. So preparing early for such an event can drastically improve the odds. The actions you take now are finding the best place for protection such as basements, schools, or high-rise buildings, and storing supplies of food and water as well as medical kits. To sum up, when a nuclear bomb hits, there are three things to remember. Get inside, stay inside, and stay tuned.